Endometriosis affects one in every 10 women. That is according to the World Health Organization. It is a chronic and painful disease where a certain tissue grows outside of the uterus. There is no cure, but a group at the University of Washington is hoping to come up with a way to detect endometriosis early on. Fox 13's Nikki Torres shows us how. I had to work from home for a couple days because I could barely make it out of my bed from the pain. And that was the point where I was like, I, I need to, I need someone to believe me when I tell them that I think this is endometriosis and I need, um, I need, I need a plan. For more than six years, Reem Shaba was living in pain and frustration. I would go to the doctors every time I was on my period, I would have horrible kind of like stabbing pain in my abdomen. Shaba says she continued to seek medical attention for her symptoms, but she wouldn't get the help she needed. I would go to the urgent care in, in like, you know, 10 out of 10 pain um, and be told, you know, just take ibuprofen. Um, there's not really much we can do for you. At times, she would tell doctors she thinks she has endometriosis, but they told her they don't believe that was what was causing her pain. So I think there's just a general lack of of knowledge or maybe not taking the symptoms seriously. Um, so it was really frustrating for me because I've seen several different providers and I felt like I was dismissed by, by all of them until I got to my current providers. There is no cure for endometriosis, but with the proper treatment, the symptoms can be managed. Like many endometriosis patients, Shaba underwent surgery to remove the scar tissue and adhesions causing her pain. There's a little part of me that was kind of was like, you know, to all the providers who didn't take my pain seriously, like I told you so, and here's here's proof. Shaba says that surgery changed her life, but she could have been spared years of suffering had someone caught it earlier. Right now at the University of Washington, a group of five bioengineering students are working to create a non-invasive device that could tell you if you have endometriosis. Jack Cusick is one of those students who took an interest in learning more about the disease. Even for me, like I didn't really know anything about endometriosis before coming in. Um, I think women's health care obviously is sometimes is underrepresented. Studies say it takes women 8 to 12 years to get diagnosed. By that time, it's possible for symptoms to severely worsen. Cusick says that's where their team saw a need. It was clear others saw that need as well. Grand prize goes to Endozine. <laughs> Team Endozine won the grand prize at UW's Health Innovation Challenge, earning $15,000 to continue their research. Then they were like, Endozine, and my jaw hit the floor. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, <laughs> wow, I would... No. <laughs> I think some, someone was like in the back getting drinks or something. Team Endozine has a long road ahead before we could see anything go to market. But for right now, they're raising awareness and laying the groundwork for a prototype. And if you're struggling with this disease, Shaba has some advice for you. At the end of the day, you know your body better than anyone else. And if you feel like a provider is dismissing your pain or dismissing your concern, you always have the right as a patient to get a second opinion. In Seattle, I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.